Thank you. Thank you. Is it time to get up? <laughs> Bonnie! Is it time to get up? Ooh. Barn chores are pretty normal this morning. I just got everything done, got everyone locked up, fed, and then turned back out. Robbie and I are leaving for a week-long vacation to Montana this weekend, so I'm making sure that everything is nice and prepped before I go and clean and tidy, so I swept out all of the corners and stuff like that while everybody ate, your breakfast. and then I continued to turn I'm out. I'm coming, I'm coming, you're cute too. You're cute too, yes you are. I know, you wanna go gallivant around. Okay, easy, easy. I'm very, very lucky with an extremely supportive family and also to work at the family farm so everybody's there at home. So I do have backup and wonderful backup at that when I do go away, which is very, very rare for me. But it is very nice to be able to get away and just know that the horses are going to be absolutely safe and sound and the routine is set in place and everything is ready to go as best as possible before I go. But on top of that, we also have a hurricane rolling in. Um, it hit Florida pretty badly, so we're thinking about everybody that is dealing with the disaster down there. We're just really getting rain and wind at this point, but I wanted to go ahead and get everything unpacked from the horse trailer and get that done and the tack room reorganized because there were a couple things I needed to do in there for some new borders and just move things around and reorganize again. So I got that done and out of the way, so that was off my plate and set for the week ahead. After morning chores were done, I sat down for some editing work and lunch and hung out with Pork Chop the Fish. And then I did some laundry and prepped for Montana as best I could. And these nails are from Horse Show Beauty. Check her out if you're looking for super, super easy prep nails. Very, very easy to do. I also got these tags from Amazon. I'm just gonna label all of the blankets that need to be done while I'm gone to make it as easy as possible. There I am just labeling them. I just put the horse's name on one side and what weight blanket it is on the other side. We're out running some errands, waiting in the Duncan drive-thru and Missy here, first of all, she knows exactly where we are, but she just dropped her favorite ball out the window in the middle of the highway. And I just, you're not going to get it, you're not. So now I have to, I don't know where it went. I tried to find it, but I'm gonna run over to Tractor Supply and really hope they have the same balls there. It's not down there either, honey. Cause she's very, very attached to that ball. I know, honey. That was entirely your fault. It was. Okay. This one's a little smaller, but we'll see if it works. See if she appreciates it or not. <laughs> I'm gonna do the trick. <laughs> I also got them some treats because I have to every time I go in track supply and I got me a new sweatshirt because none of them, none of mine fit around my belly. So there's that and then we go to the bank and we go home. 
When I got back to the barn, I continued just doing some cleaning stuff here and there, taking the fans down for the summer, putting those away in storage, and just getting as much out of the barn as I could. And then I was waiting for my lesson to get there, and my lesson kids do do a full groom on the horses, but I like to get them out ahead of time sometimes and just do a little thrush treatment, spend some time looking them over, making sure there's no ailments or injuries or anything else like that from the pasture before we get started in our lesson. Dylan was an absolute superstar. This is the first time she's rode Dylan and he was wonderful in the crazy winds. Such a good boy. And then I put the name tags on the blankets and then it was time to feed and do evening chores again. And I ended up running with Robbie to the phone store and we both got new phones. <laughs> We both upgraded at, to 13 Pro Maxes, I think. Loving it so far, but anyways, with this imp impending weather, everybody got electrolytes and salt in their feed, and everybody got soaked and tucked in for the night. And that's it. 